All right, y'all. Lastly, I want to play this video right here. Okay. Man. So y'all know the Braxtons have been, we are the Braxtons and you'll see that we are not like an ordinary family. So we trace me to and the Timor Trina and Missy will teach you a thing or two with Braxton family values. God rest Tracy's soul. Y'all been acting a fool since this lady died. And I don't know what the hell going on with the Braxtons and Kevin Jr. and Kevin Sr. and what Tracy wanted for the people, girl. If you want the logistics to be kicked to you, go on over there to Jamie, that's me. Okay? If you want the specifics of what was, was in the will and all of that, go ahead and talk to Jamie, that's me about it. Because that, that, that's not what I'm about to do. I'm tired of y'all, Braxtons. I'm tired of y'all. I really am. At the end of the day, I understand being there for your family. But at this point, it's giving y'all a use in this situation to capitalize off Tracy and her family and whatever wayward shit they got going on with the will. I don't know what it is because the son looking like an alcoholic to me. The daddy looking, you know, low key like one of them old abusive niggas that's trying to calm down. But when you bring it up out of him, he'll go right back to putting hands on everybody. OK, I also believe that they had infidelity in their marriage while they was together. They went on that damn reality show and played up those rumors about him having an outside child. And not everybody won't act like we crazy because they went on a reality show with that as the preface. So even though, oh, no, it's not true. He ain't got no outside child. He could not have an outside child. He could have an outside child. At this point, girl, we don't know and it don't even matter. What we do know is Kevin Jr. got something. Kevin Sr. got something. What the fuck is we still arguing about at this point? What are we still talking about at this point? To me, I don't know who put this video out, but it's given a scheme that the Braxtons cooked up to come to us with the bullshit because y'all know, and this is what I, this is my opinion, Tawanda is very much given Evelyn. Tawanda is giving their mama's energy to the umpteenth power, which is very bitter, calculated. You know what I'm saying? Just can be very, very passive, aggressive, low-key evil-like. Just low-key, not real evil, low-key evil, you know? And I could definitely see them using this situation to make sure that their show is popping since Tamar is trying to not really, you know, give in to that fighting back and forth shit that Tawanda wants them to do. Because based on what, I, what I've seen so far, Tawanda, you wanted to make a fight between you and Tamar be the thing with the show. Tamar has decided to remove herself in a way where she's not going to be available to argue with you all the time. I peeped it. Now we're going to make a savior of you with this Kevin Jr. situation. Kevin Jr. 30 fucking years old. He's not a child. He's 30 years old. He is not a child. The babying that is taking place with Kevin Jr. is annoying me. Kevin Jr., Seems to be, you know, somebody that need, you know, to get his life together. He don't need to be on a reality show is what it's given. And it is very much giving y'all of being opportunistic about a hard time in these people's lives. Okay. Now let's get into this video. No. You told me no. You told me no. You told me no. You told me no. When I asked you if Lynn lived in our house, you know why? You know why? Because you got a wife. Your wife shouldn't be living in the house with us. Go make a goddamn family and, and, and go take care of your own family, son. Get out of my house. I agree. I agree that your wife shouldn't have been in the house. No, if you want to go be a man and marry a woman and have a wife and a child, you need to be able to have your own fucking place to live. No, though. But you say no. You told me no. You told me no. I'm not lying. I no reason to lie to you. Who the mother motherfucking do? This was before the motherfucking cancer, before my wife's cancer. I don't know what's going on, but what I do know is it sounds like the daddy beating his ass. Sound like the sound like the daddy is beating the son's ass, okay? 
It also sounds like Kevin Jr. is drunk. Like you didn't showed up to your daddy house drunk on some bullshit, and now your daddy gonna beat your ass because that's how men are. Okay, child, listen. Daddy tried to kill my brother, so I <laughs> listen. Okay, at one point or another, men are going to have to have these moments with their sons because for some reason, the males are just crazy like that, girl. I was watching uh, well, National Geographic and they was talking about the male bears and how the women bears literally spend most of the time like running from male bears that are going to try to kill their baby bears just to impregnate them with their bears and then possibly leave the, the female uh, bear to take care of those little baby bears on her own the male elephants territorial trying to fight everybody you know what i'm saying like at the end of the day <laughs> the males is out here doing too much the anger is too high calm the fuck down they just always be territorial with the children lions do the same thing and then lions don't even be doing shit they let the women do everything and then just lay up sleep and shit like ugh. see what i'm saying like nature be trying to show y'all some of the same shit that's being exhibited in life with humans and y'all just be ignoring it okay y'all be ignoring it but to me that's basically what's going on here the sun is crashing out the daddy is being you know like most men are you gonna crash out and i'm gonna you know crash your ass into the ground po tracy po tracy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I'll say this. I saw that live that Kevin did. They stayed together to the end. Dad, that don't mean shit. People stay together until they die all the time. Does it mean that if you're if she hadn't gotten sick, she would have stayed forever? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Then people seem like they they loved each other no matter what. And that's a great thing. Kevin Jr.'s house was taken by his wife Olivia, according to the show. Wow. Wow. I would say that's fucked up, but you married her and had a child with her. You have to supply her a place to live. So if you own a home that you got from your mama, then that's what happens, y'all. I, I can't be mad at that woman because if, if if it was any other woman, if it was one of my friends, fuck all that. Get the house. Where you going to live at with y'all baby? Get the house. The hell? child so it wasn't kevin senior we had to worry about having somebody else in tracy house child is kevin jr lord have mercy pray for him well y'all with that being said let me get off of here because i got a little meeting to get into i hope y'all enjoyed the live um you know i'll come back to y'all with more we'll talk again tomorrow before the old ladies first panel okay i believe it's on niecy's channel this week so y'all make sure y'all come through either way hold up let me read these super chats before i get out of here Oh, I didn't even see this one. Janine Thomas, you are absolutely right, Rondi. Thank you. Uh, uh, Quandria. Quandria uh, Creates. Quandria, Quandria Creates. Girl. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. Hey, girl, just popping in. I love the shirt color. Thank you so much. Um, K Rub, thank you for being a member for 37 months. I think some of the people speaking out were down with the get down and are trying to absolve themselves in some way. They're on the tapes. People are definitely on the tapes. Uh, Catherine Forehand, thank you for the super chat. I agree with you 100%. Thank you, love. Amani, hey, my love. Thank you for the super chat. Remember, he's married to Giselle's friend, the one she said Ray Huger wanted, Eric allows. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. I remember. Mm-hmm. That mean y'all know shit over there on Potomac, but y'all ain't gonna say nothing. Uh, Chocolate Soul, thank you for the super chat. Bondi, please look at the video and speak on what Dapper Dan had to say when asked about Diddy when the Cassie lawsuit hit the internet. His comment was very interesting. Okay, I'll go look it up. Hey, Cynthia. Y'all, shout out to Cynthia. I've been seeing her more often on YouTube lately with uh, Themis and Thoth. That's what's up. Boosie is only proving that while he may be able to read, he's not comprehending what he reads. The indictment doesn't uh, the indictment does mention prostitution. Uh, I think you meant does or does not. I think it, it does. So I think you meant it does. Um, but that he would call prostitutes in to have sex with the women he was in relationships with. Those are two different things. OK, Reese B, thank you for the super chat. Hey, girl. Hey. Hey, girl, thank you for coming through. I hope y'all enjoyed the show. Y'all know, as always, y'all can send me the stories on Instagram, post them in the Discord if you're a member. And you know, I'll be back for something, y'all. Have a good rest of y'all day. Anywhere you go, anywhere you go, give it all.